welcome back. And, excuse my face, get that out of the way. I'm gonna try and get my camera a little bit better. And we are gonna to attempt to build our turtling. Let me see if I got that at the right distance for you. I'm going early because I want an evening off. I need to get on with some uh, house chores, watch a movie, uh, and just get myself ready for another week of work. Anyway, I hope you understand. I'm sorry that I keep mixing it up, but I'm gonna bring you in and show you what we did yesterday. So welcome. If you're watching this on replay, I totally understand because it took a little while for us to log in, but hello, Christina Hutchinson. If you are in, let me know. Hello, York, Yorkie mom, lovely. Rebecca, welcome. I can't take my painting off because it's attached to this. Well, this is where I ended up yesterday. What I'm going to do is now come in and just put a few highlights on here and maybe here. Very, very subtle. And that's done. And then we're going to attempt to paint a similar turtle where I've got there for my reference photo. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Good morning, Ninon. Well, <laughs> Ninon, I hope I said that right. Happy Sunday. <laughs> uh, and I'm just really happy that so many people are going to be, well, so many. People are still here joining me. I'm going to work with a small brush. The paints I'm going to be using today is mainly going to be browns, a little bit of creams. I'm going to be mixing up some of my own browns, but I do have some set browns out of here <clears throat> as well. As we go through it, we'll try it. But what you'll see is highlights. I'll get a very um, transparent white to draw out where I feel his composition will be. And then you're just going to see me bring him alive. Now, I am not a proficient painter. I am not classically trained. I am not uh, by any means saying my process is the best process. But what I am doing is giving you a window into my creative process so that you get to see what goes through my mind. And you get to see that it is, for some people like myself, it's not just a quick flick and it's all done. It's about doing the dance with your acrylic paints until you're really happy with what you get. So... I hope you're well. So happy Sunday. So we have Lee in. Well done. Oh, Lee, you're barely awake. Well, sit in bed under your doona and all I can say is have a cup of tea, dunk some biscuits and maybe I'll be a beautiful routine. This is probably going to be maybe a two hour process. So I appreciate that Sunday people have got things to do. So you'll be coming in and out. Some of you may only stay five minutes and that's okay. Some of you may stay the whole time and that's absolutely amazing. And some of you may be watching it on rewatch. So I just want to say thumbs up to you all. Oh, look at state of my nails. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't on your way in, on your way out, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel. And I am going to get on with this. The only thing I forgot was a drink for me. I was going to call Paula beforehand and say, hello, Paula. Can we, uh, can I have you in my ear so I can understand what's going on with chat? But um, never got it off so apologies if you're going to be seeing my like dodgy hair or face there's no makeup on today well I'll put a tiny little bit around my eyes so I don't look really absolutely knackered oh sorry didn't mean to say that <laughs> anyway like I mentioned I'm kind of liking the ripple here or the suggestion that you can see the ripples at the bottom I'm just going to get a tiny little brush. This one is a two. And all I'm going to do is very, very sparingly, a little bit of white with a lighter blue and just try and highlight maybe a couple. Now, the idea with this is you put it on and you roll it. So here, that was a little brush. I started with the lighter and I twist it and move it and just let it make its organic shape. And then I did slightly darker ones here. And that was the same here. Now we're just going to highlight a few. Now, restraint is key for this. If you put too much on, it can spoil the effect. I want to say that. <laughs> yes, it will spoil the effect. So less is more. And it's just a suggestion. And then we're going to get on with a turtle. I'm just putting, I don't know if you can see my palette as much from this angle. I'm going to, scared I'm going to muck in my water. I'll try and move this over a little bit so you can see what I'm mixing. Uh, but good morning to you all, especially to my supporters in other places of the world where it's not necessarily <laughs> a afternoon like it is here. But this is going to give me the gift of time and I'm going to get to spend some time with myself, 
my nail, tidying up and resetting. I'm just getting a tiny little bit of white. I don't want it to be pure white. I am going to add a tiny little bit of the, what is it called? Turkish blue? No, no, not Turkish blue shine. Speak right. It's a blue light. Red, because I do want it to be slightly lighter than what I've got here. And I will do my best to keep glancing over and yeah, see if anybody's got any questions along the way or anything like that. Tiny little bit on my brush and I'm going to try and maybe go to where it is and I'm just going to roll it at the time like this, just very subtly and try and be restrained and if I'm not enjoying it I will Oh, that's a little bit too much on the brush. I will come and wipe it out, but I don't know if you saw the movement I'm doing there, very loosely, very little on the brush. Just want it to look like maybe there's a few highlights at the bottom. I'm just going to dab it off with my finger because there's a bit too much there. It's quite fun, really. Let the paint brush tell you where, where it's going to do or where it's going to say. And you want it to look a little bit sporadic. All right, I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want there to be too much on there. Do a little bit at the top here as well. You don't want it to be straight. Water doesn't move straight, does it? I mean, all right, I'm going to leave that as it is as well because it's underwater still, so you don't want it to be too. What? All right, I'm happy with that. So because I am going to do now the outline of my turtle, I'm going to use a slightly thicker brush than the one I was just using. I'm move my thing out of the way here. I believe I keep knocking it. I've got you closer to this so you can see it. <laughs> but I think my arm's going to keep whacking it. I can never get it just right. I'm going to look for a brush where I've got a little bit of control to it. I've got some really detailed brushes there, which are lovely. I don't think I'm going to want that one. You know what? I think I'm going to go with this one. No, it's still too big. Come on, Sharon. Get your stuff together. So for this part, I am literally, literally, just waiting, waiting, <laughs> wetting my brush because I want it to be very, very thin. And I'm, uh, for me, I'm starting to think, where do I want him to be? Now he's got a very big head, this one, and I quite like it. I want, I, I suppose I want the hero to almost be the face as though he's, he's looking at you. And this is the whole reason why you shouldn't get too carried away from your back because most of it's gonna be covered up. But if you put the right amount in there, when you do put your turtle on, it's gonna pop forward. And yeah, let me entertain you. And I'm just looking for shapes and the hardest thing is starting once you've started you can always tweak it you can always move it I know he's got a little bow in his head there I'm just gonna follow that there his head's gonna be very big I might have to uh, trim this back that's about there I come around it's a bit it, it's sometimes nerve-wracking isn't it when you do this kind of stuff but I reckon once you start, it's easier then to tweak it, get the composition right. And if, if you do it light like I'm doing now, all it means is if you mess up, you can go back over it with the colours that you've got there already. I'm figuring his face is going to be around there. Hello Donna, welcome. I think it's going to be a lot of people in and out today, Sunday morning for most people, evening for others and afternoon for me. And from where his eyes are, he, oh, that was a bit big, wasn't it? <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> He's got his little shell that's coming out here. It's almost... Is it almost double? No, it's about a half of where he is. And he's flat across there. I'm going to take him under here. I reckon that's about right there. And again, I'm not thinking turtle, I'm just thinking shapes. I want 
want to know who has been doing turtles. Now his wing more or less goes at an angle to there. When I say his wing, you know what I meant. Talking about his little little paddle feet. So he comes in about there. And then around there. And then you can actually, if you want to make your own composition how you want it, to make it look how you want it, you, you just do it. Have some fun. You don't want it to be necessarily. So that looks wrong to start with it with your eye, but it's going to be about right. Oh, I think anyway, but he's, so that one balanced about there. And that one is going to balance about there, so slightly higher up. Just check that. So that is going to come slightly higher than his head. Hopefully it'll be relaxing for you to come and watch this, this fella come alive. You might come back in 10 minutes if you've logged off and be surprised where he's gone or come to. And if you find any of what I'm sharing with you helpful, it really does help me if you give me that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, give me a subscribe. Um, and yeah, if you want to be a member, consider being a member because I am going to be doing some art classes specifically for members. Now, I think the, when I sit back now and I'm looking, I'm looking at, do I feel it represents where I want him to be before I get too uh, committed to what I'm doing? I'm checking just things like, is it, is it where it's meant to be from a proportion point of view? Because this is your time to change it. So proportionally, that's correct. Probably could come out a little bit more here with his shell. And there. Uh, Gonna meet up down there. I want to know what have you all been up to this fine and dandy week? What are you doing this? Um, what have you been doing this weekend? And yeah, what's going on in your world? So he's a bit too concave there. So I'm just gonna now cut and this. Now I know where roughly his head's gonna be. I'm just gonna bring it back correctly now on his head. He's got a very tiny little dip there. Going over and then he slants down here. His eyes are going to be roughly there. And there. Oh, might be slightly different actually. He's got a grumpy face, this one. <laughs> Always looks like an alien to start with. Well, who knows what an alien looks like. Anyway, I am going to start just getting some perspective. So even though I've done it in a white outline, that is most likely going to change. You're going to see it evolve, but at least I know where I'm roughly working to now uh, and what I'm going to do to bring him alive. And this is where I have fun now. This is a personal choice. You do whatever you feel. Hello, Dee. Uh, Dal, should I say, Dal from Nottingham. Yay, watching, welcome. <laughs> How do you become a member? Anna, on the very front page of my YouTube channel, there's a little button, uh, I believe it's top right, where it uh, says membership. Um, I think there's a little donation tab as well, but the membership one, uh, click on that and that'll take you through it's £4.99 a month and you get behind the scenes access to myself, you get Zoom Webexes where we uh, talk as a community and also, uh, oh you've got C perks, wonderful, thank you Lee. Now what I like to do or what I was about to say is I work on the face first because if I can capture a personality in the face or the eyes that gives me the inspiration to keep going. And again, it's not about making it perfect at this stage. This stage is just about understanding where your sizes are going to be, understanding um, composition, 
and getting the feeling, because I've painted those eyes in, but I can see that that is not going to be the right proportion. And you might find that he will grow as we go on, but I know roughly that's where I want to be. First thing I normally do is look at sort of key factor, and if I think that his face, it still needs to be bigger, because I can see from there, his face needs to come down. Ooh. his jaw or the, the end of his double chin bless him is further down this way so I'm just gonna more or less come in angle with a with a feet actually got a big big double chin bless him that'll make the eyes a bit easier now and then his little mouth is there and then all right, there we go. Oh, thank you, Lee. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy seeing behind the scenes. What colour am I going to paint with to start with? Well, for me, I'm going to come in now. There are blues within this. If I was going to do it with resin, I would just use the the browns and the creams and a little bit of the pinks. But because we're not going to be putting any resin over it, one of the last things I'll do is add blue to him. But to start with, I'm just going to paint him cream behind. Then I'm going to add my darker areas in the eyes. Once that's dry, I'll come back and then I'll start to add the tones of the blue through so that you feel like you're underwater with him. Now, if I find that this is going to take way too long, because it, it can take days to do this, um, I'll park it and we'll come back and then the next slide will continue it. But I just really want to show people the reality of where it takes for me when you're doing some of this. And also, don't give up. If, you, if what you're creating you're not enjoying, keep doing it until you do enjoy it. So I'm now going to make up a little bit of my cream. And I make up the almost like a sandy colour, which is going to be a little bit of the... I hope you can see that there. That's a little bit of the um, dioxine purple and a little bit of the cadmium yellow light because it's going to be under underwater. So as a rule, the lighter one goes in the water because it's cooler. Hello, welcome. So that's a really nice, isn't it? You have a small, okay. It's brilliant, that cheese head. <laughs> Let me just, uh... it just blows my mind. <laughs> Paula, are you in chat or have you not joined yet? Hello, Jellico, welcome. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out how I can get rid of some of this chat here. Yeah, well, cheese, this is a family friendly um, channel. So you have to watch what you're saying. And I've got a feeling that you're just about to kick off anyway. So let's see. All right, I'm going to start with his uh, creaminess. I'm just going to ignore what's going on there. Uh, just give me a highlight, people, if chat becomes a little bit offensive and I will remove and ban um, people that don't. Yeah, there we go, cheese. <laughs> oh, excuse me, people, while I just work out. I'm going to have to flip this around. <laughs> 